Sir, Rise of Iron, we have all sorts of information to talk about. This video is going to be more of a general roundup of the information we learned from the reveal livestream, and the next video I'll be going more in depth with the analysis of the trailer. So, the Rise of Iron will include a new cinematic story, new missions, and new quest lines featuring a new enemy called the Fallen Devil Splicers, as well as three new areas the Plaguelands, Fellwinter Peak, and the Wall. So, the Plaguelands is going to be the new location on Earth located in Old Russia, and it's going to be our new patrol area. Fellwinter Peak is located beyond the wall of Old Russia, overlooking the area, and this is where our new social space is going to be located. The new social space is called the Iron Temple, and what's especially interesting about this one is that we'll actually have to fight for this temple in order to reclaim it from the Fallen. And the third location, the Wall, is referring to the Wall of Old Russia, and as we saw in the trailer, we'll be able to venture inside and on top of the Wall. There's also going to be new patrol missions and public events in the Plaguelands, a new raid, and new and updated strikes. So, not only are we going to be getting a new strike, some old strikes are also going to be returning, and they've been modified to include the new enemies. Similar to how some Year 1 strikes made a return, featuring the Taken instead. And lastly, there's going to be some new Crucible maps, a new Crucible game mode, and some new features. Now, it didn't go into any more detail as to what this new mode or these new features could be. But it's interesting how it's described as features, not updates or patch or anything. Features. Could this be custom games perhaps? Or maybe kill cams or some other feature? We don't know. So, the enemies that we're going to be facing in the Rise of Iron are called the Fallen Devil Splicers. Now, the Splicers are a type of Fallen that are described as body hackers and bioengineers. And now they're using this newfound plague called Siva to augment their own bodies. A plague which was previously quarantined in this section of Old Russia by the Iron Lords, who sacrificed themselves to do so. Now, as for that flaming battle axe that we saw in the trailer, and yes, it's definitely an axe, it has been confirmed to be an axe, not a hammer. Unfortunately, this is not a heavy weapon, it's not an exotic. This is a special weapon that you can only pick up for a limited time, similar to the Scorch Cannon. Now, during the House of Wolves, there was a public event that allowed you to wield the Scorch Cannon, as well as a few side quests. So, that makes me wonder if, with the Rise of Iron, one of the new public events will allow us to wield this Flaming Battle Axe, or if this will just be only available in quests, story missions, and maybe a strike. Also, those Pet Wolves that we saw by Lord Salad inside, unfortunately, we won't be getting any Pet Wolves in-game. However, speaking of wolves, the Yalahorn is going to be making a return in Year 3. Not only that, there's going to be a new variant of Yalahorn called the Iron Yalahorn, and this is basically just a black and silver version of it. Now, the way we're going to obtain a Year 3 Yalahorn is through a new quest. This quest will involve us having to forge a new Yalahorn for ourselves from the armour of Fallen Guardians. Now, that to me sounds amazing. I'm really excited to get my hands on a new Yalahorn. It's also kind of cool because it stays true to the lore of the original Yalahorn, which was built from the armour of Fallen Guardians from the Battle of the Twilight Gap. So, in a similar fashion, we're going to have to forge our own. As for the Iron Yalahorn, this is a pre-order exclusive, so you can only get this by pre-ordering the Rise of Iron. Although, you won't just be handed the weapon, you will actually be given another quest to get the Iron Yalahorn, so there is still some work involved. Either way, you're going to have to complete a quest in order to obtain this Year 3 Yalahorn. And yes, the Iron Yalahorn is still an exotic. And finally, we have one last important detail. The Rise of Iron is going to be next-gen only, meaning it's only going to be available for PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. It is not coming to last-gen. However, if you still are on last gen, you will be able to transfer your characters to current gen once the Rise of Iron is released. So, if you're on PlayStation 3, you'll be able to transfer your character's progress over to the PlayStation 4, and same goes for Xbox 360 to Xbox One. This does not mean you'll be able to transfer your character from PlayStation to Xbox, only PlayStation 3 to PlayStation 4, and Xbox 360 to Xbox One. Now, honestly, I'm really glad to hear this. It'll mean that Destiny is no longer constricted by the limitations of old-gen hardware, which, for the future of Destiny, could potentially mean we'll see bigger environments, more vault space, room for much more new features, etc. 
Anyway, that is it for this video. This was just more general information that we learned from the reveal stream, but soon I'm going to be doing a massive analysis of the trailer, and I'm going to be going really in depth, talking about every detail of the trailer. So I really hope that you guys are excited for that. So I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.